Hello, good people. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Well, we're going to jump right into this. We have a lot to cover. There's a lot of steps to getting your Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi um, repeater or Wi-Fi Plus repeater set up and I'm going to take you through everything. You don't get any, any instructions with this. Um, so, so yeah, it's not very intuitive either. So hopefully um, this will help you out if you need the help. So that's what this video is for. So my intention is to make this as easy as possible. Uh, the process should be pretty much the same with any Wi-Fi quadcopter, but we're using the Tello today. So this is going to be specific to using a Apple phone. This is an Apple iPhone and the Tello. I'm going to break the video up into three sections. There's going to be the pre setup prep. There's going to be the actual setup and then after setup. And the reason why I'm doing that is again, there's a lot of steps. When you initially set up the uh, repeater, there's a lot of setup that you have to do. Once you've done all of that though, you won't have to do it again. Now, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your Tello. You're gonna need a power bank of some sort. Obviously, you need your repeater and you're gonna need your phone. And again, this is uh, Apple phone uh, specific today. The first thing you're going to need to do is to grab the Mi Home app. This is it right here. OK, and, and it is specifically for home automation, but this is the app you need. OK, so download that. All right, then go on into the app and you're going to need to set up an account. OK, so I've already set up an account, but let me kind of walk you through and talk you through some things you want to make sure that you do. OK, if you get this screen uh, here, login screen, and it's asking for a phone number and a verification code, go down to the bottom and where you see that where it says password and there's a lock, click on that. All right, now it's going to ask you for a email and a password. So just click on sign up and walk through the steps. Now we're going to come back to the Mi Home app later, but now let's go on over to the Tello. So what you're going to need to do is turn on your Tello. So power it on. Okay. Power on your Tello and just go through your normal connection steps. So we're going to find that Wi-Fi signal from the Tello. And now I've already done this, so, but I'm gonna walk you through this. Okay, now let's get on into the Tello app. All right, now what you're gonna need to do here, go into your settings, click Wi-Fi. Okay, now your Wi-Fi name is going, the default name is gonna be Tello with a dash and then some gobbledygook. You're gonna need to, need to change that. The Wi-Fi uh, repeater doesn't like those dashes. So just change the name to something um, without a dash, okay? And then go ahead and set a password. It has to be at least eight digits. All right, now once you've set up the password and change the Wi-Fi name to kind of something similar to what you see, uh, what I have there, go ahead and power down the Tello. You're basically restarting it or rebooting it and get out of the app. And then what you're gonna do is reconnect you're gonna just go back, reconnect to the Tello. So turn it back on. And this is just to check that your password is working. Okay, now once you've entered the password once to connect to the Tello, you won't have to do it again. Okay, so it'll store in there, in the settings of your phone. Okay, so once you've confirmed that's okay, go ahead and shut everything down, connect from, disconnect from the Tello power the Tello down, that part is done. Okay, now if any of you have done this uh, or if you go through this setup and you find that you don't have to do that step, you don't have to set up a password, let me know. So that is the pre-setup prep uh, portion of this video. Now we're gonna move into the actual setup of the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi wi Plus repeater. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is reconnect to your home Wi-Fi. Okay, once you've done that, go on back and open up the Mi Home app. And sign in if you have to sign in. Uh, and remember, make sure you select mainland China as the server. Okay, now at this point, you're gonna turn the Tello back on because we're gonna need that Wi-Fi signal. Okay, so power the Tello back on. Okay, and just leave that to the side for now. 
go ahead and plug in your repeater. Okay, so the USB plug is just right in here. And let me just show you. This is a reset button here. You have to use a little pin to actually push down the, the button in there, but you'll reset this thing if you need to connect this to a different quadcopter, okay? And then the little hole above it is just an LED light. That's your indicator light. Okay, so go ahead and get it plugged in to your uh, power bank. And you should see an amber light or an orange light flashing. Orange, yellow, and actually, yep, it's flashing. So you, see, you should see that flashing. That's what you want to see. Okay, so that's ready to go. The Tello is on. Now, go back to the Mi Home app, click on tap to add a device. Okay, and then scroll down and find your repeater. It's gonna be the Mi Wi-Fi Repeater 2. Now, if you didn't select mainland China, you probably won't see all of these uh, product listings. Okay, click on that. Now it's going to ask you here down at the bottom, it says yellow light blinking. If that is the case, if it is blinking, then click on that to where you see a green check mark and then click next. Okay, now you're gonna select your uh, Tello Wi-Fi and go ahead and put in your password. So once you've gone in, once you've entered your password and everything there and you come over to this screen, it'll still probably show that you're connected to your home Wi-Fi as the current Wi-Fi. That's okay. Just click on go to Wi-Fi settings. We're going to need to connect to the Wi-Fi repeater signal now. So let's click on that. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the Mi Home app and you should see it start to connect. So it's going to do its thing. Now what it's doing is it's basically copying the Wi-Fi signal from the Tello and it's going to create a basically a copy of that. Okay and that's going to be the signal that the repeater emits. Okay now once that reaches a hundred percent what you should see now you should see a solid blue light on the repeater. I don't know if you can tell that's blue, but yep, it's blue. It's a solid blue light. That's that's your indication that everything connected um, successfully. Now it's gonna in the app here. It's it's asking you what you see. So in my case, I see a blue light on. I'm gonna click that, and basically this is telling me that we have done this successfully. Okay, now everything that we've done up to this point you won't have to do again. That's the good thing. Uh, the initial setup, when you're setting it up for a new drone for the first time, you're gonna have to go through all of that setup, okay? So that concludes the actual setup segment of the video. Now we're gonna move to the after setup segment of the video. Okay, now that you've gone through all of that setup, you are pretty much ready to go. So what you're gonna do, first thing you're gonna do is power on your repeater. So get that plugged into your power bank and then power on your Tello. Okay, now instead of connecting to the Tello Wi-Fi signal, you're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi signal emit it from the repeater and it's going to end it's going to basically be the same signal that the tello emits except it's going to end in plus as you see here so click on that and you should see that amber light go from flashing to a solid blue light that's how you know you're connected it may ask you for your password go ahead and put that in okay we are connected now come out And as you can see, we are connected. That's pretty much all you have to do. Now, the next thing I want to do now is start testing this out with the Tello to see if uh, it actually does reduce or eliminate all of the stuttering that you get from the video um, stock. So we're going to test that out. 
and we're also going to test out whether it improves the video feed uh, because now that we have a strong Wi-Fi signal we shouldn't be getting any of those uh, error messages that you always get on the screen with the tello about flying too too far away and so so on and so forth so we'll check that all out now i'm going to show you how to connect to pretty much any quadcopter that uses a 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi feed remember this particular repeater will not work with a quadcopter that emits a 5g wi-fi signal I have been searching for one and I still have not found a repeater, a portable repeater like this that works with 5G. All right, so keep that in mind. All right, now after you've done this a few times, it's not as cumbersome as the first time. So let's go ahead and jump right in and this should be pretty quick. Okay, so first things first, make sure you power on your repeater and make sure the yellow light or the amber light is blinking there. Now, if you have already connected this to another quadcopter, you're gonna need to reset it. Um, the reason why is because the repeater is still going to emit the cloned Wi-Fi signal from the other quadcopter. So you need to clear that out to get a blank slate. All right, so once you've done that, go ahead and power on your quadcopter. And I'm just using this uh, spark clone here today <laughs> i did a review on it on the channel i'll put a card up if you're interested all right now that's going to emit its wi-fi signal right uh, it's going to be uh, i'm using this one mainly because it i know it uses a 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi signal okay now once you've done that make sure you are already signed into your me home app uh, and you have to sign into it using your home Wi-Fi. So make sure you, you've done that, all right? Then what you're gonna need to do is come over to your settings and switch that to the Wi-Fi signal from the quadcopter, okay? Now that you're connected, go back to the Mi Home app, click on tap to add a device. Again, make sure it's mainland China as the server find the me Wi-Fi repeater 2 make sure the yellow light or the amber light is flashing click next now it's going to ask you for a password um, I don't think these actually use a password but usually the default password for any Wi-Fi is just going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine so just put that in Again, if anybody knows how to bypass this step, let me know. I haven't figured out a way to do it, but this, this tends to work. Okay, click next. And now what you're gonna need to do is click on go to Wi-Fi settings, and we're gonna switch over to the Wi-Fi repeater signal. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the Mi Home app, and it should start to connect. Now, as it reaches 100%, you should see the light on the repeater turn from the flashing amber to a solid blue. Okay, so that's finished up. And now you can see we have a solid blue light on the Wi-Fi repeater. So now, basically, say blue light on we're good to go you can come out of there go back over to your settings now you're gonna find that cloned signal that the Wi-Fi repeater just generated and it should end in plus okay there it is so we connect there now we should be able to connect to the app and we're going to be using the signal from the Wi-Fi repeater now okay so as you can see we are connected we have a feed um, so this is just to show you that it is in fact working all right easy as that okay well that's it uh, I hope I uh, hope you found this video helpful let me know in the comments below if it if it did help you out if you have any questions uh, let me know down below as well and if you figured out an easier way to do this let me know that too <laughs> I don't know that there is an easier way but if you have one please share it <laughs> all right well Thanks once again for watching. I really do appreciate you. I do not take it for granted. 
And if you uh, are currently subscribed, please consider doing so. If you like this video, hit me with a like. It really does help uh, help the video and helps the channel. And if you know anybody that might uh, find this video helpful, share it with them. And until next time, be good to somebody and be good to yourself, y'all. God bless you, and I'll see y'all later.